Hey beautiful people, it's great to see you again inside Nappy Beauty here and today I am going to be dyeing my natural hair. My natural hair hasn't had any color on it in about four or five years. It's it's natural color, it's like a dirty brown, but uh, this is like a doodle -doo brown. I hate this color. I do have some grays that's popping up, so I decided I'm just going to try to dye my hair. Um, my hair has stopped taking color for some reason. I did try to dye it a few times a while ago, and the color just would not hold. So I decided I'm going to go back to something that I used to use in the past that always worked. It was tried and true, and that is the Beijing. So the Beijing, I used to use this all the time and my hair used to be jet black, shiny, and silky. So I'm going to use it today. And this is in Oriental Black. Um, I got two boxes because I have a lot of hair. So I always have used two boxes to cover my whole head. So we're gonna see if this color takes and hopefully it'll look good. So first I'm just gonna start by prepping my ears and around my hairline with some Vaseline. This is just like a aquaphor type Vaseline. And because this stuff really stains, I just don't want my ears and my forehead to be black for days. And I'm also going to go around the back. So now that's, that that is there, I'm going to go ahead and just section my hair. Oh, let me show you guys something. So I had some braids last week. And I was taking them out and I cut out a whole section of my hair. I cut out a whole section of my hair. So in the top, and you see where it's short at right there? That was a whole braid that I clipped out of my hair. When I tell you I was sick, I was sick. But it'll grow back. There's nothing I can do now. So I'm just gonna make little sections, maybe four sections to just make it easier to work with because I really wanna make sure all my hair is covered. this dye it said that your hair should be freshly washed and cleansed for 24 hours I washed my hair last week and I haven't touched it since and so it does not recommend that you do it on wet hair so that's why my hair is just washed and I just had it pulled back so I'm gonna start with this front section so I'm gonna leave that out definitely cover if you have on something that you want don't want to mess up you definitely want to cover that because this stuff goes everywhere so I'm just gonna use this little beach towel and wrap it around right there so I'm gonna start with this section and I just got my nails done so I am NOT trying to mess this up so I have these gloves because of course this dye doesn't come with gloves I don't think not that I remember so I just got these from work and I'm just gonna cover up my nails because they cost too much money to get done I cannot be messing them up so let's open the pack and I'll show you what's in it so this is permanent powder hair color oriental black no ammonia just mixed with plain water oh it does come with some little gloves in the pack I forgot it did so this is what the packaging looked like if you don't remember um, these are the gloves and then it just comes in this little bitty bottle. And then this is the measuring cup. It tells you how much water. Always read directions before you start. It always say do a complimentary preliminary skin test for 40 hours. I never do that because I have used this before. So it says pour vegan powder into a non-metallic bowl or cup. Add room temperature tap water. Do not use hot or boiling, boiling water in the proper measurement specified in the chart below. Mix well with a brush to make a smooth, thick consistency. So it says for the whole bottle, fill with water to full line. So. So on this plastic piece, it has full at the top. It has all the different um, full, half full, and all of that, so you know where to measure it to. So since I'm doing a bottle, I'm gonna fill it to the top. And I'm gonna fill two to the, two to the top because I'm doing two bottles. So I'll be back. 
All right, so I have the room temperature water. I'm going to pour it in my bowl, my mixing bowl. That's one. And then here's the second one. Do not mix colorant with any other product. Do not worry of the color. If the color of your mixture on your hair looks different from your desired color. All right, so it says quickly apply the, oh, hold on. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pour these two bottles in here and I'm gonna mix it with my brush. It said make it smooth. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm just opening it. It has a little stopper on it. And then I'm pouring one bottle in here. It's like a powder. Make sure to tap it. one and then I'm opening the other bottle take the stopper off and I'm pouring it in here as well a good little amount of product in this little bottle all right so I'm gonna start mixing it and then I'll let you know what it looks like at the end So at first it's gonna be really watery and then it's gonna to go to a thick consistency. They said it should be smooth, so I'm gonna keep mixing until it's smooth. I think I'm a double glove because I already see my nail poking through this glove. So I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to put the gloves that come in the pack. They're so big, that's why I just don't like wearing these myself over my other gloves. Take no chance. No chance with the nail stalk. Yep, so it's really thick now. I think this is good enough so I'm gonna just get covered up then I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started so what you're seeing me do here is go ahead and make small sections so that I make sure that each section of the hair is fully saturated with the dye so I don't want to leave any areas untouched so once I apply the dye to this little section I'm going to go ahead and comb it through to ensure that it is saturated fully and you want to see me do this throughout the whole head so I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this part up
I have completed applying the dye to my head, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a plastic cap to let the dye just sit on there. It says that if you're doing a full head, let it sit for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna just put this on, sit back, watch some TV, kick it until 30 minutes has passed. I did put a timer on my phone to make sure I don't go over 30 minutes. I'm gonna to proceed to wash my hair with the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo. I love this stuff. It cleans my hair very well and I think it works very well on natural hair. And this is what it looks like. So next I'm gonna apply this protein treatment. This is a deep conditioner. I just picked up this packet at my local beauty supply store. After coloring your hair, you definitely want to go back in and add that moisture and add the treatment needed on top. So you're going to just see me rubbing this through my hair. I'm also going to go ahead and brush it through to make sure that every strand is completely saturated. My hair feels very soft and the brush is going through really easily. Now that all the conditioner is in my hair, I'm gonna take another cap and just tuck all my hair under this plastic cap and I'm gonna sit on the dryer for about 15 minutes to let this just, you know, penetrate into my each strand of my hair. I don't have a regular dryer that you just send under, but I do have this dryer attachment, which is so cool. You just attach it to your blow dryer and you can do other things while you just sit around, watch TV or, if you want to dry your hair, this is a great invention. Whoever made this was amazing. I love it. It was only $10. I got it from my local beauty supply store and I just attached it to the blow dryer that I already had at home. So I just rinsed my hair very well and I'm going to go ahead and apply some leave-in conditioner. This is the Cream of Nature Argon Oil from Morocco. This is the Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. It makes your hair feel silky straight. I always use this after I condition my hair. So I'm going to just put that through my hair and just make sure it is covered with that. And I'm also going to go in with a moisturizing curling style milk. This is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil Moisturize Me Curling Style Milk. And I'm just going to put this throughout my hair as well. And I'm also going to brush it through. For oil, I am using the Hydrating Growth Oil. So I'll just put a picture of all the products that I applied after I just washed my hair right above. So you can see them just in case you're interested. So this is the end result. My hair is completely black, all of it, even around the roots. It's well moisturized and it looks good. So I'm happy with the process. The vegan did work. It took very well on my hair. 
Thank you for watching and going on this journey with me. If you would like to see how I styled it, then let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.